Would you consider stories like Harry Potter and other stories that are set in imagined metaphysical reality as having the potential to be art? Yeah, I think Harry Potter's art. It's definitely art. It's, it's definitely a recreation of reality based on artist metaphysical, ju metaphysical value judgment, which is Ayn Rand's definition of art. And I encourage you in this 50th year anniversary of um, Romantic Manifesto to go read a Romantic Manifesto. But yeah, I, I mean, I really enjoyed Harry Potter. It's a good story. It, it has certain things I don't like about it, like the final book is very Christian and the final scenes are very Christian. But it's, it's dramatic. It's got heroes. It's, it's fleshed out characters. You get to like certain characters. You get to hate certain characters because they're fleshed out. They have identities. The magic stuff is distracting and, and silly. And the boundaries on it are not clear, so it's hard to exactly understand what are the rules of, of the magic? Why can't Harry just go like that and have all the evil guys disappear? Um, the same is true of any fantasy book. What are the boundaries of the magic? What are the rules of the magic? Is always a challenge for the writer to establish and yet allow them enough things to do at the same time. Um, but I, I loved Harry Potter and I definitely think it's odd. And I think it's, it's, it's certainly for a teenage audience, it's, it's good art. I think it's good art. It's romantic. Harry makes choices. All of them make choices. Good choices, bad choices. The people who flip, the people who are evil and become good and good and become evil. And it, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, definitely good. Good stuff, right? So I, I encourage people to read Harry Potter if they haven't read Harry Potter. Just because it's fantasy doesn't mean it's bad. And a, a lot of fantasy is good.